Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about deleting the product. So let's see how can we delete the product. First of all, uh, go to the admin controller and uh, here, this is the admin controller. Now, uh, let's create uh, one more function here. So right here, public function and uh, function name uh, let's say function name is product underscore delete and inside this function just pass here one parameter argument which is id and now let's fetch here the product according to their id so right here product arrow uh, product is equal to model name product colon colon find and just pass here the id okay and after this let's delete the product so right here product arrow delete and then return return redirect to the uh, products page admin products page so right here route admin dot products okay and also send the status so right here with a status and pass here the message product has been deleted successfully okay and uh, do one more thing uh, before deleting the product let's delete the images okay so right here this condition if file exists this images image then just right here uh, let's copy this line this one okay just to delete this image okay and now for deleting the thumbnail image just add here the condition and uh, this one okay and now let's delete the gallery image so for that let's copy this line this one no sorry this one okay and uh, after this just paste here And then after deleting the product image, product thumbnail image, and then gallery image, gallery thumbnail image, just to remove the product and return to the admin products view page. Okay, now save the file and now let's create the route for this function. So go to the web.php and here let's create the route. Okay, this one route method delete and uh, URI admin product ID uh, parameter. This is the parameter, okay, and then delete controller name admin controller and then method name which is product delete and then give the route name which is admin dot product dot delete. Okay, now save the file. Now let's copy this route name and go to the admin uh, products page. Okay, so inside the admin folder, products.net.php file, and here let's add the link. So inside this form, just pass here the route, this one, admin product.net, and then pass here the ID. So inside the big bracket, id, arrow, dollar, 
product arrow id okay and inside this just pass here the attribute csrf and also pass here the method directive and inside this just write here the method name which is delete okay now save the file and one more thing uh, for confirmation before deleting the product so let's add here the post directive so right here post and inside this just write here the scripts okay and now i'm just going to copy from the categories page so let's copy this one this is the script and uh, paste inside the product now view file inside this post method okay uh, here is the create class now it's done so save this file and let's check so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and now let's click on delete link and you can see here the confirmation dialog box if i click on no product is save and now let's delete uh, this product so click on delete and this time just click on yes and you can see here product has been deleted successfully okay so in this way you can uh, delete the product so that's all about deleting the product so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching